Hello and welcome to your practice. If you are new to yoga, I am super excited to have you practice with me today. We will be practicing a sun salutation A. So we're going to get started uh, down on the mat and just opening the knees to the width of the mat. Bring your big toes to touch behind you and take a seat on your heels. Maybe if you need to place a blanket under the knees for comfort, go ahead and do that. When you're ready, gently begin to walk the palms forward one by one until the forehead meets the mat for child's pose balasana. And right away, just begin to tune into your breath. So taking deep, full inhales through the nose, filling the lungs, and then open mouth exhales, releasing all the air in the body. Inching the fingertips forward, deepening the stretch in the arms, press the palms into the earth, lifting the wrists. And on your inhale, find that reach through the fingertips, stretch the arms long. And on your exhales, just move the hips back and down closer to your heels. You should feel this nice stretch down the arms, under the arms, maybe alongside the body. Again, just taking deep, full inhales through the nose. And open mouth exhales, releasing that air in the body. Nice. On your next inhale, shift forward to a tabletop position. So coming to all fours, you're going to stack your shoulders directly over the wrist and hips over the knees. So knees are hip width distance. Toes are untucked. Set your gaze down at your mat so you can reach the crown of the head forward, taking out any wrinkles in the back of the neck. So long neck, long spine. And tuck the belly up and in. Press the palms and the tops of the feet into the mat as if you're pressing it away from you. Let's begin to warm up the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly down towards the mat. Set your gaze up to the sky. Lift your tailbone high. So you're creating a nice little U shape in the back here. And without moving, just energetically pull the palms to the knees and the knees to the palms. So you should feel a deeper stretch in the front line body. Very nice. Deep inhale here, fill up. And exhale, cat pose, round the spine. Tuck your chin to your chest. Tuck the belly button in. Now hold your cat. Think about lifting the belly button up towards the sky. And now energetically pull the palms away from the knees, the knees away from the palms. So you can feel that deeper stretch in the back line body. Very nice. We'll flow breath to movement. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, set your gaze up. And exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, cow, move that heart forward. And exhale, cat, round the upper spine. So very exaggerated movements. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. So nice. Inhale to a tabletop position. So coming back to our neutral tabletop. Moving into our next position. Tuck your toes under. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up to the sky. And straighten out the back of the legs. Let's bend the right knee. Helping to straighten the left leg. Pressing the heel closer to the earth. And then switch that out, straightening the right leg, heel presses into the earth. And then go ahead and do that back and forth a few times at your own pace, just stretching out the legs here. And come high onto the toes and then rest the heels back down. All right, let's get into our proper alignment. And spread the fingertips as wide as you can. Now begin to rotate the index fingers towards the top two corners of the mat. Bend both knees a lot. Begin to move the heart towards your upper thighs, lifting the hips a little bit higher, and without moving the torso, straighten the legs back. Lift the belly button back towards the hip sockets. Neck and head rest heavy here. And breathe. 
your next inhale gaze to your wrists and exhale just baby steps to the back of your wrist so toes meet the back of your wrist for our forward fold rag doll so bend both knees a lot so your lower pelvis rests on your upper thigh there's no space there grab opposite elbows neck and head hang heavy and gently sway side to side just helping to release the lower spine here and just letting this feel good maybe weight gently shifts forward into the toes and then come to stillness release the arms down fingertips graze the mat and bring your feet to touch bending your knees a lot tuck your chin to your chest first and then inhale slowly rise up to stand one vertebra at a time head comes up very very last yes so let this feel really good then go ahead and roll out the shoulders a few times roll out the head and the neck just let this feel really nice yeah just warming up the body and then gently come to stillness arms down by the side palms face forward spread the fingertips wide and just begin to root down through the feet so pressing the ball mount and the back of the heel into the earth and then lifting and spreading all ten toes then as you're pressing into the feet gently rest each toe back down onto your mat one by one and then lifting the kneecaps up towards the hip bone so activate that front thigh muscle point your tailbone down towards the earth lift the belly button up towards the heart gentle lift in the heart squeeze the shoulder blades and then draw the hands to heart center thumbs pressing into the chest for samastitihi standing at attention and let's take a deep full inhale through the nose fill the lungs and sealing the lips exhale through the nose slow and steady here continue with this breathing and drop the arms down inhale mountain pose tadasana reach the arms overhead then press the palms together overhead for your prayer grip set your gaze to your thumbs lifting the heart inhale lengthen and exhale draw the hands to heart center inhale mountain pose tadasana reach the arms overhead this time wrists are shoulder width apart and spread the fingertips wide rotate the pinkies inward and soften the shoulders down and take a deep inhale lift the heart lengthen and exhale back bend lower the elbows lift the heart towards the sky and shift the weight back into the heels lower the elbows a little bit more squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the heart just a little bit higher inhale rise back up and exhale forward fold hinging forward at the hips with a flat back bend both into the knees as you come down release the arms and then bend the right knee bend the left a few times and shake out the head and the neck release the neck here and on your next inhale halfway lift so press the palms to the shins or the upper thighs just avoid the knees and in our halfway lift, we're gonna to work to create a flat back by reaching the crown of the head forward, gaze is down at your mat, so there's no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Now open the chest by drawing the back of the shoulders up towards the sky, squeezing the shoulder blades. Firm up the core, press the palms into your legs and shift the weight forward. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the palms, step it back to a high push-up posture, our high plank pose. And spread the fingertips wide, lower the hips in line with the shoulders, stack the heels over the toes. And now move the heart just one inch forward, activating the core. Inhale, hinge forward on the toes two more inches and exhale, lower the body halfway down, bending the elbows to 90 degrees. Now pull the elbows into your rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog, untuck the toes, move the heart through your biceps. 
Now press the tops of the feet into the mat so much that the entire leg lifts off the mat, including your hips. And take a baby bend in the elbows to pull the heart forward. Inhale, lengthen up. And then exhale back to your downward facing dog. Lift those hips high. Very nice. So we are going to flow that sun salutation A breath to movement. So take your time, follow your breath. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Press the palms together at the top, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, rise up, Tadasana. And exhale, back bend, Anivutanasana. Lift the heart. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, forward fold with a flat back, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, high to mid plank, Chataranga Dandasana. Use your exhale to lower you down. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through. Here we go. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Press the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, Tadasana. And exhale, Anivutanasana, back bent. Inhale, rise. And exhale, Uttanasana, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, Chataranga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. All right, so let's stretch it out. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. And exhale, step to your palms. And then have a seat on your mat, in the middle of your mat. And bring your feet out in front of you, bending at the knees. Extend the arms forward and using your core strength, gently lower down to your back. And pull both knees into your chest, grab under your knees, give yourself a little squeeze here, let this feel good. Then go ahead and tee out your right arm, so wrist in line with the shoulder. Roll your head to the right and then let your knees drop to the left for a gentle twist. Left hand rests on the outside of your right knee. And then just notice if your right shoulder is starting to lift off the mat. Just gently press it back down, helping to anchor this twist here. And breathe. Then slowly bring both knees back into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, realign the spine. And then tee out that left arm. Roll the head to the left as you roll the knees to the right. Gentle twist, detoxing the internal organs. And then again, just noticing if that left shoulder is lifting off the mat, go ahead and press that back down. Then gently coming back to center, pulling both knees in, give yourself a little squeeze. And then moving right into happy baby, straighten the legs to the sky, flex the feet. Now bend the knees and capture your arches or right under your thighs, if that feels better for you. So flexing the feet. And then pressing your tailbone down towards the earth and then gently rocking side to side, massaging your lower back. And breathing here, stretching out the hip space. Maybe gently pulling down on the feet. And then bend the knees into the chest one last time. Wrap your arms around the shins. Grab for opposite elbows and pull your forehead to your knees, curling into the tiniest ball here. 
squeezing every muscle in the body. Take the deepest inhale of your practice. And then exhale, release everything long. Stretch the legs out long and wide. Arms down by the sides. Getting out any last little fidgets here, any movements. And surrendering to complete stillness, complete relaxation for final Shavasana. And give yourself about one minute in this posture. body wiggling fingers and toes circling ankles and wrists and then gently press up to a seated position legs are crossed and draw your hands to your heart center let's take a deep inhale fill up open mouth exhale and lifting your thumbs to your third eye the space between your eyebrows inhale and exhale bow forward namaste Wonderful job, everyone. 